What do you think, Coconut? Welcome back to the driveway engineer, guys. Uh, if you follow me on social media, you'll have seen this picture already. I cut this out of a chunk of scrap from the scrap bin. Um, it's for the oil cooler on my OM617. Everything on my OM617 is, in, as far as the oiling system, is uh, external. So from the factory, there's a plate and a big housing that sits in this area. Um, and then there's a thermostat that controls. There's a, a oil cooler up in front of the car. I have that stuff, but I really don't think I want to use it. Um, I think that I would like to do a more simple solution and run my own oil cooler wherever I want it and run a normal, what I'm going to call a normal, like a caterpillar filter or something like that. So I'm going to make a plate that goes there today. Um, we have, it's pretty straightforward. There's only two holes here. This is actually also a return. This is a return and this is a return. This is a feed. Um, so what I'm going to do to get the fitting away from here, I'm going to move it over to this cavity. I'm also going to tap the turbo feed right here. Um, and I'm going to slot that. So I'll show you guys how to do that as we go here. It's pretty straightforward. You can do it with relatively modest tools. I'm going to use a drill press, um, and a die grinder and that's about it. So you can see on my little map here. I've already mapped out how I want it to be, but the first step is gonna to be to drill the mounting holes through. So I'm gonna show you guys a little trick to do that. All right, so you're probably familiar with a center punch. Um, this is called a transfer punch. And what it's good for is moving, transferring a hole pattern from one thing to another. So I taped the gasket on here and I'm going to, so it doesn't move. And I have it cocked mainly because there's a chip on one side of this and I want to avoid it. Um, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to mark the one, two, three, four, five bolt holes. And I'm going to punch them and then we'll take it over to the drill and drill them. Um, and that'll allow me to place the, the gasket on the back side and make the same template that I have here. Um, and especially when like I have to drill this whole part way through so I really need to know where everything is on the back side when I'm doing this so I'm gonna he whack those with a hammer and drill them out and I'll be right back Close enough for the driveway. Um, also, this is why bolts have clearance. So if I have to, it looks like the top one might be a little bit off. If I have to, I'll go in there and blow them a little bit oversized. Not a big deal. I actually don't know if they're to size or not now. But uh, this will allow me to locate the gasket. Now I can put the gasket like this, I guess, if you weren't following, although I hope you were. So now I can put the gasket like this and see what the engine side, this will be the engine side, looks like. So I got a feed, a return, and another return down here um, that I need to drill out. So that, that's the point of that. I will be back after I sketch that out and we'll talk about how we're going to drill the rest of this. And we're back outside. So with the back side sketched out, and you see I didn't take as much care. Cause I don't care as much. Um, here's a 3 8 tap. It sort of barely fits right there in that inner spot. So I'm going, I'm going to use this for a turbo feed. This is a 3 8 MPT. Um, I'm going to use that to a straight push lock rubber hose. Here's a half MPT. This is actual feed, but I'm going to slot this and put it over here. Um, and then I'll also, this is a return. So, this is going to get drilled all the way through. This is going to get drilled partially and slotted. This is going to get drilled partially and slotted. And this is just going to get opened up. So we'll be back.
So my GoPro screwed my footage up, but I took it back into work after I drilled all the holes out and tapped them, rough cut it, um, brought it home, cleaned up the edges with the flap disc on the grinder. You can see where I ground out the bridge with a burbot. It's not clean, it's not nice, but it doesn't really matter. The oil's gonna flow. Pressure's pressure, it'll find its way out. Here's the front side. So you can see I relocated the holes, mainly to get them away from the back of the injection pump. <laughs> Um, and then here's a the finished product with the uh, push connect fittings on it. So anybody can do this with basic tools, you guys. This is how you do it. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Driveway Engineer.